Yeah. Now, are, are we all back here now? It's right yeah. there. So there's something yeah. I wanted to point out. Yeah, that's not a coconut. How is it not a coconut? That is a coconut. Wait, that is totally That is not a coconut. Well, this is our 19th year for a program that we call History Camp. We started it way back in the 1990s as a way of making Centennial Village available to kids, but it kind of at a quieter time, not necessarily during the hustle and bustle of the fair. So we picked a couple of weeks in July, usually the middle weeks, where the children can come. We go anywhere from ages 7 to 13, though mostly it's 7 to 11. And they can have a one-day experience at the camp, just us, nice and quiet, where we can play games, pop popcorn over the campfire, make ice cream, and explore the village and explore the heritage. There's a whole bunch of nice people, and you just do some really fun things. Like, you know how it was back then. And I like history, so <laughs> I kind of just fit in with it. What have you kind of learned being out here? That it was a lot harder, and they had a big change. Like, we've changed lifestyles a big time. So, I mean, I play softball, I play sports, it's just the same thing every day. And so when you come on here and you're talking about history and you're actually like working in it, you think and you're like, this is different. This is, I mean, this is what my great great grandparents did. This is, their kids did this too. Um, camp this year is full. So I wish I could say, yeah, everyone, come on up. But we have anywhere from 16 to 20 campers a day, which is all we can handle, mostly because of the size of the buildings. They're pretty small. But if you would like to get on our mailing list for next year, just contact the museum, and we'll be happy to get you on our children's mailing list. And maybe you can make it out next year. All right. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not.